Okay, <laughs> take two. Note to self, hit the post to Facebook button, not the delete button. Here we are back with week 10 of Room Review. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I am so excited to show you this space. This is a small retail storefront in the UK. Uh, it's a group of women who have a nail bar and salon. They have a couple different treatment, treatment rooms, but the front area is a very small um, kind of reception waiting area where there will be a couple of nail techs. So they are wanting to redo the space and we are going to walk through it here now. Let me change to screen share. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Here we are. So this space is tiny, but it has a very unique aspect to it in that it has a gigantic front window that takes up most of the storefront. So that's something that we really want to make good use out of. Okay, walking in the door here, there's also a window on the front of the door. Uh, you walk in, and here it is. It's very tiny. Uh, the first impression to me is that it's a little cluttered and looks a little bit like things that they've received have just been put up. I would look at maybe taking away anything that is not necessary and maybe putting up pictures like that with a little more care, maybe frame them and not clutter them so close together. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. I love that clock though. Um, all this stuff over here right around the steps is a little bit much. A lot of stuff right near the stairs feels a little bit cluttered and a little bit like the energy can't flow there. Um, looking at this poster on the door here, I would frame it and maybe hang it with some picture wire over it you know, maybe not so it doesn't bang, but just to give it a little bit more of a finished look if you're gonna hang it on the door there or anywhere. Uh, this wall here is blank pretty much right now, but it has an amazing opportunity because this wall is the one that you see through the window. So this wall is pretty much your showcase. And I'm gonna look at a couple of different ways that we can add some interest to this wall. Um, there are different shelves around the, sh the, um, the shop that have uh, product on them. I would suggest doing a really cool shelving unit on that wall. And even if all your product isn't necessarily super interesting, you could even you could paint different colors behind each square there to give it a little more interest if you wanted to. Definitely do a couple different things with plants in them. I would add a pop color chair or two that are kind of small profile in front of those shelves for people to sit while they're waiting. Right now there's a sofa uh, with its back to the front window that uh, it's not really good feng shui to have your back to the window anyway. But if you add some beautiful furniture, even if it has a low profile, it'll make a nice inviting little scene there. So that wall is gonna be super important um, this back wall, this is to the right when you walk in, this is where they have the nail techs right now. I would do an accent wall back there. I would add either some cool wallpaper, a stencil, maybe just an accent color. Maybe you paint the rest of the space kind of a pale aqua blue and you paint that one a teal. You could also add a cool mirror. I would either put a mirror on this side or on the other side, which we'll look at in a little while. But this is a neat antique mirror. It's kind of uh, mirror tiles. Um, this is a distressed wood kind of look. This is actually a headboard, but you could do it in that, that piece of wall to add some dimension to the space and a little texture. Um, so they had said that they kind of wanted a shabby chic type look here. So looking at things that might be a little bit distressed uh, would be a good idea. There's the fantastic window. You want to maximize this window. I would take that fan out of the window and maybe put it on the floor if you have to have it there, but I would probably get rid of the fan or get a smaller one. Um, I would, like I said, get rid of that sofa and add a couple smaller chairs and pop colors. I would hang plants around your window. Uh, this, this window is just fantastic and I think you really want to maximize your bang for your buck with that window. Um, if you don't have uh, 
uh, a shelving unit, like I suggested, you could paint the wall a pop color too and put something on your front window that they can see through, but maybe it's the name of your spa. Maybe it's your quirky thing you're famous for. Um, again, uh, I, you might have to use these Dermalogica displays, but if you don't, then get rid of them. Also, I see there are vertical shades there and I would lose those as well. Uh, if you have to have something to cover the window, maybe put up drapes where you can't see those vertical shades or something. I'm not sure we can talk further about that, uh, but they don't enhance the feel of your space and they're definitely not shabby chic. Uh, this massage chair, I don't think they use, so I would get rid of that. Anything you're not using in the space, get rid of it. Really think about what you need the space to be for. You need a couple people to be able to wait. You need to have a place for the nail techs to do their, their stuff. You need to have a place for people to make appointments. So think about what function you need the space to serve and then get rid of all the extraneous stuff. Another big thing that this space serves is drawing people in and tell, advertising your business. You've got a phenomenal storefront there. It can be a little jewel box of a beautiful, awesome, luscious place that you want to go into. I would hang a really cool kind of chandelier maybe over the nail tech area or just down in the middle of the room. Um, I think that having a couple of different levels of light in the space can really enhance the experience. Make sure the air is fresh and clean. Maybe you can diffuse something that, that um, lets people feel peaceful uh, in the space like lavender or something like that. Uh, the stairwell over here, okay, yes, they have a few a few little things up here on the stairwell, which I think that, you know, that's nice to have there. Maybe maybe paint a frame around it or paint something around it to, to bring it out a little more so you see it. Again, all this stuff next to the stairs, it seems kind of cluttered here. If you could find a different way to put that stuff, I would get rid of all a lot of the duplicates and create a much more streamlined uh, appearance in your space. Now this is the uh, appointment desk where I think that's a very big solid structure. I would look at getting something really cool. I love this piece, it's really neat. Now they, you can't really display stuff on it but if you're digital, all you need is really a phone and, and, and a laptop type thing but you can do some very minimal um, appointment desk type things or uh, reception desk type things. Um, you can also do some, that one might be a little bit big, but you've got shelves on either side where you could put some product if you wanted to do something like that. This one also is a little bit smaller, but it has the three shelves on the side. You could do something with that for products that you're going to sell. Adding plants to your space is huge too. Um, definitely, I mentioned it in the window, but you can add them in other places too. This one really makes use of vertical. Um, and although these pieces aren't really shabby chic, I feel like they some of them have a warmth to them and at least a kind of industrial interest. This one is pretty basic, but it is a smaller profile and it has a little desk behind there. By the way, you can see all of these things um, on a board and Pinterest that I'm creating. I'll tell you about that later. I would put a mirror behind that, the reception desk to reflect uh, light in the space. Mirrors are pretty important for uh, small spaces. You could also put a mirror in one of the shelving spaces that you see in the, the shelves that I recommended. I would put down a beautiful rug just to add some color and some warmth to the space. That first one was a green rug. This one's gray and, and cream. You could do something like this on the wall, like do something with lighting, just something very interesting. That the store is such a beautiful little jewel box that you can look in through the window. You want to invite people in, you want to intrigue them and want them to come in and know more or come in and spend time. <laughs> I know there's not a lot of space and you don't want too many people to spend time, but you want it to be a place people want to go to. So you want to consider the needs of the room you want to declutter anything that you don't need. If you've got lots of duplicates of a product, put a couple out. Don't keep all of them out because it's just too much. And, and people are going to either ask you for it or they're going to see it and they're going to know that it's available. Really consider how you want the space to feel. 
Do you want it to be peaceful? Do you want it to be energized? Do you want it to be cozy? Add scents or keep the air fresh. Um, play soft music or have a little waterfall going, a little fountain that can make a beautiful, really soothing sound. Uh, maximize that gorgeous window. I would get rid of the vertical shades. Even if you have big drapes that you pull back and tie back uh, behind um, things that hold them back every day, and then you just have a beautiful swath of color kind of framing the top of those windows, do that. And then maximize the wall behind it because that is where you're going to see, you know, everything. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll see your stuff that you have for sale. They'll get a real idea of what your store is about. And use the window. Put put something on the window that talks about your place. Who should come in there? I mean, tell a story on the window. Um, use the creative shelves and furniture arrangement on the far wall, on the focal wall. Again, I would take the sofa away from in front of the window. Add a colorful rug. Um, dress up the posters a little bit and the information and arrange it thoughtfully, kind of more like art. Maybe make a grouping of, of three uh, different pieces of information that people could read about or put it on a little easel next to the chair or something like that or put one piece in in the um, the shelving unit that you have. Um, use some creative ways. Add a focal wall, an accent wall on the far side by the nail tech station. I think that could really warm up the space. Add a beautiful light fixture and have different levels of lighting in there. That can also really make the space more creative. As long as you have task lighting with the nail tech area, that can be a, a great way to um, make the space welcoming. So I hope you enjoyed that. I, let me get you back here. I think that is such a fantastic space and I can't wait to see what they do with it. Um, I actually have thought of like three other things that I would do with it <laughs> if you weren't going for the shabby chic look. But a window like that is fantastic and I hope they really maximize that. Uh, so I am doing a new thing now where I am creating a Pinterest board for each room review I do. So my Pinterest is High Vibe Home and there will be a uh, board dedicated to, I think it's called small, small space spa. So if you have any, um, you know, I'm going to pin things that I suggest within the video. So, um, a lot of those little reception desks or rugs or things like that will be in that, uh, on that board in my Pinterest account. So I would love for you to follow me on Pinterest. Um, I also will have this on YouTube. All of the previous, if you can't find them here on Facebook, all of the previous room reviews will be on YouTube. So you can see them on YouTube. You can find all the products on Pinterest. And I will see you next week. Thanks for being here.